Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous section we have got to know that is what is uh, the degree of dissociation for the weak electrolyte and in that case we have also studied about the degree of dissociation for weak acid as well as for weak base. And so related to that we are going to do the expression for the Oswald dilution law for weak electrolyte. But what is actually Oswald dilution law? So let us learn about this in this lecture. So now uh, let us understand that is what is actually Oswald dilution law. So the Oswald dilution law states that the degree of dissociation of a weak electrolyte is inversely proportional to the square root of the concentration or either we could say that is it is directly proportional to the square root of the dilution keeping the value of the dissociation constant same at the given temperature. So what they are saying is we have to keep the dissociation constant uh, or the value of the dissociation constant to be same at that particular temperature. So for that we can make a statement where we could say that the degree of dissociation that has been represented by alpha. So it has been stated according to the Oswald dilution law that is it has been uh, directly proportional to the uh, that is uh, the dilution. So therefore we could say that if the volume of the particular solution increases and keeping the electrolyte uh, or the concentration of the electrolyte uh, or the amount of electrolyte as it is and um, and we have increased the volume then we could say that uh, the volume has been increased and that's the reason the dilution uh, of the solution uh, has also been increased and that's the reason that we could say that uh, as the volume increases or as the dilution increases the degree of dissociation also increases and that's the reason uh, we have made a, a statement where the K or the dissociation constant is also being kept as it is at a given temperature and that is how we could see that uh, the degree of dissociation is directly proportional to the square root of the volume or the square root of the dilution of the solution in which the electrolyte is. And uh, the another statement uh, of it, it was that it is uh, basically inversely proportional to the concentration. So that's the reason we could make an another statement where the degree of dissociation that is alpha is basically inversely proportional to the square root of the concentration. So here we have kept that is uh, the dissociation constant as it is as we have made it as k and uh, this is how we could see that uh, the degree of dissociation is directly proportional to the square root of uh, the volume or the we could also say it as dilution as well as we could say that the degree of dissociation is basically inversely proportional to the concentration of uh, the solution in which uh, the electrolyte is and that is how this is what we have to prove or this is what we have to express uh, in the Today's lecture that is for expression for the dilution, also dilution law for the weak electrolyte. So let us uh, do such uh, expression and uh, let us see that how can we uh, make this statement in the final. So now we are going to do the expression for the dilution law for weak electrolyte and uh, for that we have to take a weak electrolyte but uh, for uh, an instant let me generalize it uh, by taking an example like this one. So this is what we have that is a weak electrolyte and uh, suppose if it undergoes the dissociation so therefore it will give that is uh, since it is a weak electrolyte so therefore it will give that is uh, incomplete uh, that is dissociation that's the reason that we will get uh, B plus as well as A minus ions and this is the cation and this is the anion that has been dissociated when a particular uh, electrolyte has been dipped uh, or it has been dissolved in a polar solvent or a particular solvent. So this is what we could get. But according to this, what we have got to know that is, uh, since they are not uh, dissociating completely, so therefore that's the reason that we have made this symbol. This indicates that the equilibrium is between the electrolyte that we have taken over here and the dissociated ions that has been produced because of the electrolyte. So this is how we could get the equilibrium between the uh, uh, produced ions as well as the electrolyte. And uh, but what if we have taken that is one mole of an electrolyte that is one mole of uh, Ba and we have dissolved in a particular uh, uh, volume of a particular uh, that is solvent so as to make a solution of the electrolyte. And suppose in that case the volume that is we are indicating with V. So therefore V dm cube of the volume of the solution is, is being uh, produced and uh, or that is being maintained and in this case uh, if we have to measure the concentration then the concentration it will be nothing but uh, that is uh, the concentration is nothing but the number of moles of the particular electrolyte divided by the volume of the solution and that is the reason that we could get uh, that is uh, 
the concentration but uh, the concentration since uh, of the particular electrolyte and in this case since we are using one mole of uh, the electrolyte so therefore we could also say that is uh, uh, the concentration would be nothing but c is equals to 1 upon b and v is nothing but the volume of the solution uh, which consists of one mole of so that is electrolyte and that is what it will undergo through that is uh, dissociation to form an equilibrium between the electrolyte and the produced ions so this is what we have a particular thing that we have maintained and this is the thing that we have to uh, so this is what we have to make concern so as to give the expression for the Oswald dilution of for big electrolyte so let us understand this that how can we uh, make an expression by using the Oswald dilution law for a big electrolyte so again I will uh, make a statement where we have used that is uh, weak electrolyte like uh, BA and that has been dissociated into basically B plus I would write it over here as B plus as well as A minus. So the equilibrium is being maintained now uh, but the thing is the equilibrium is being maintained now but the thing is initially when we have used or when we have uh, that is uh, added the electrolyte in the aqueous solution or in the in the water suppose so initially what we have got uh, as so initially so the initial moles of the uh, electrolyte before getting uh, dissociation so therefore we will get that uh, one mole of b has been involved and before the dissociation obviously there will be no b plus ions will be produced and there will be no a minus ions will be produced so this is what we could get but uh, after the dissociation when it happens so what we could say it as after dissociation then the number of moles that will be left out uh, is what we could say because uh, one mole of weak electrolyte is uh, was been added to the uh, water suppose and it has dissociated so it has dissociated with basically we could say that is uh, in which the alpha or the degree of dissociation uh, or that much value has been dissociated so as to form alpha that is alpha moles of b plus as well as alpha moles of a minus so this is what after the dissociation what we could get and that's the reason that uh, we have subtracted that is uh, one minus or we have made a statement that is one minus alpha and this states that uh, one minus alpha is the number of moles that has been uh, left out for the b a and uh, after the dissociation, we could say that alpha moles of B plus is being produced as well as alpha moles of A minus is being produced. So this is what we could get. But we can also make uh, a statement where we could say that uh, we could evaluate that what would be the concentration of the respective B A as well as for B plus as well as for A minus. How? Because we know that is concentration is nothing but the number of moles uh, divided by the volume. So therefore, uh, in terms of uh, the unit, it would be nothing but that is moles per dm cube. So therefore we have to make a statement where we will write that is the concentration in moles per dm cube. So therefore this is the moles that we have got for respective B A, B plus as well as A minus. So therefore we have a volume of the solution and that is nothing but V that we have discussed in earlier only. So therefore we could write it as that is 1 minus alpha divided by V. Here also we could write it as alpha divided by V. And here for A plus also we could write it as alpha divided by V. So this is what we have got the uh, respective concentrations for uh, that is the electrolyte BA for the ion B plus and uh, for the ion that is A minus. And now we can apply the uh, that is law of mass section in this case. So therefore we could say that is the law of mass section. It means that uh, if we apply then we will get to know that is the dissociation constant or we could term because since we are talking about the weak electrolyte so the, for this term will be called as the dissociation constant or else it will be called as basically equilibrium constant so therefore since we are talking about weak electrolyte so therefore this k represents uh, the dissociation constant and uh, we know that as a uh, dissociation constant is nothing but uh, the equilibrium constant for a weak electrolyte when it uh, follows the law of mass section and that is nothing but the uh, ratio of the product of the product that has been formed to the reactants the concentration of the reactant or the active masses of the reactant so in this case if we would see then uh, the product that has been formed is b plus as well as a minus and uh, the reactant is nothing but that is we could say in that manner also so therefore it is b a so therefore the product that has been produced that is b plus as well as a minus are the one that have been produced through the electrolyte that is b a But this represents the concentration of the B plus ion and this represents the concentration of A minus ion while this is the concentration of uh, that is uh, the electrolyte B A. So what we have to do is we have to just substitute the values over here that we have got for each one. 
So therefore we could say that we have to substitute the values over here. So therefore we are going to substitute the values over here like for B plus we have got it as uh, that is alpha divided by B that is degree of dissociation uh, divided by B and similarly for A minus also we have got alpha divided by B and similarly we could say for the B A that is the concentration of or active mass of the B A it was found to be that is 1 minus alpha divided by B so therefore I will write over here as 1 minus alpha divided by B so now let us just uh, make it in a simple form so therefore I could write it over here as that is if I multiply this thing so therefore I would get uh, alpha square divided by B square into so if I simplify this, so therefore I would get that is V divided by 1 minus alpha. And in this case we could see that this V and this V will get cancelled out and the only thing that will be left out with us is the dissolution constant and that is equals to basically alpha square divided by V and this is 1 minus alpha. But since we are talking about weak electrolyte right, and we know that uh, the degree of dissociation it will be very much less or we could say that uh, it uh, only a fraction of the weak electrolyte uh, will be dissociated uh, and that's the reason that uh, if we compare this degree of dissociation so therefore this will be very very less than 1 so therefore we could say therefore 1 minus alpha can be said that it is approximately to 1 so therefore we would make this statement as uh, or this equation as 1 so therefore we could get that is k is equals to alpha square divided by v into 1 so the thing that we have to do is we have to give a relationship according to the offer dilution and that's that is what we have come close to it and we could uh, give the statement in this way where uh, we have got to know that is uh, the alpha square can be written as basically k into v so this is what we have got to know over here so therefore I could say that is the alpha or the degree of dissociation is nothing but the square root of k into v. So in this case we have got the expression in this manner. So in this manner we have got uh, the expression but it is related to uh, that is it is directly proportional to the dilution because as the volume increases and we have specific amount of even electrolyte and in this case we have taken a uh, one mole of electrolyte and since the volume it will go on increasing obviously the dilution will also go on increasing and that is uh, the statement of the Oxford dilution law but uh, here we have not uh, represented about the concentration but uh, if we recall this equation that is we have got to know that is uh, 1 upon v or c is equals to n by v but in this case we have uh, used that is one mole of uh, the electrolyte so therefore we could write it as uh, in this way also that is k is equals to alpha square 1 upon v and this 1 upon v is nothing but concentration so therefore k is equals to alpha square into c so therefore we could make a statement in this way I would write it over here as so I would write it over here as that is uh, alpha square is equals to basically k divided by c so if I take the square root so therefore I will write that is uh, the degree of dissociation is nothing but the square root of uh, that is k divided by c so this is the another uh, one that I have got over here and this is what we have made uh, the statement of the oscillation law and this is the expression which will be very much uh, uh, helpful in uh, giving the what would be the uh, dissociation constant for that is for weak electrolyte uh, and for like acid as well as for base for weak acid as well as for weak base so this is what i wanted to uh, make an uh, expression for the oscillation law for weak electrolyte so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and you have understood this video very clearly and I hope you will share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.